welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tally and I'm from the Valley and today I'm going to be reviewing the FabFitFun box. This is not at all sponsored. I just like to review everything I get. Usually I do taste tests. Today I'm doing a take or toss with Tally or a try and with Tally. Still trying to think of the name. I just got my winter FabFitFun box. I'm super excited. It's still fall. I love how they send the packages early so you have it just in time for winter. I didn't put on like eyeshadow today because I remembered that I chose the eyeshadow palette so I thought I would try it with you guys. This is the Laura Geller Cinnamon Spice Palette. I've never seen this one before but I just love eyeshadow so I thought it would be a perfect one to choose from. This retails for $45 so I'm really excited to try this one. I love palettes. Ooh, okay so it's little like lots of shades of pink. It looks really pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it for you guys. I did bring some <laughs> brushes so I could try it. The mirror is very clear on here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with oat milk. Just put that. I'm trying to put the oat milk, but it's not even that pigmented, so you don't really see it. Maybe it's my skin tone, but no, you don't really see it. Maybe I'll go ahead and try a darker color like espresso yourself. Let me try a different brush. Okay, this brush is working a little better. I'm not gonna do it like too fancy since we still have a whole video to make, but the espresso self is starting to come along. Yeah, it's a nice shimmery dark pink, I would say. Very nice for the holidays. Let me put it on both sides so we can match for the rest of the video. And then I'll put some salted caramel in the corners of my eye, just to brighten it up a bit. You kind of have to dig into the eyeshadow to get it to work how you want it to. Okay, here is the complete look. I only used two, like three colors. I didn't do it professionally or anything. I just wanted to try the colors. I do have to mess around with these a little more and blend it in better. This is the eyeshadow palette. Overall, I'm going to have to give it 3 out of 5 tallies. Um, it was very hard to get onto my eyelid. Like, it wasn't gripping to my brushes, which normal palettes usually grip to my brushes. So, I'm going to have to work with this one, figure out how to make it more pigmented because it isn't as pigmented as I would like, but I do like the colors. I will probably work with this and make it work later on, but for now, I'm going to keep it at 3 out of 5 tallies. Next is, we'll go with the robe. So this is one of the first things you were able to choose from. This is the Summer and Rose Cozy Robe. It retails for $70, so I'm going to go ahead and try it on. I have so many robes, but none of the other options were speaking to me, and I kind of already had everything that it had in number one. It feels like blanket material. Ooh, it is cozy. This is the Cozy Robe. It's definitely comfortable for in the house. I do really like it. I think I'm gonna be wearing it a lot. I think it's perfect for the winter time when you wanna cuddle up in a blanket but you have other things to do. So it's kind of like a blanket in a robe. So I really like that. Overall, I'm gonna have to give the robe a five out of five tallies. It's comfortable, it's soft, it's so cozy. I'm really excited to have this for the winter time. I'm obsessed with robes, so I definitely think this is worth it. I see that we have some scrunchies. One of the surprise things that we got. It says that these cheetah scrunchies retail for $25. Um, obviously, you can find cheap scrunchies like online on like Amazon or honestly like TJ Maxx. This is how much the Noir scrunchies cost. Which I think is pretty expensive. <laughs> so it comes with three different Cheetalicious scrunchies. Honestly, they do kind of match the robe. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Okay, it works like any normal scrunchie. I do like it. I love the cheetah. I think it's perfect for the winter time and for any time. So I'm gonna have to give the scrunchies a five out of five tallies. I love scrunchies, they're Cheetalicious. Hopefully they last long. And hopefully my dogs don't eat them. Next, we have the Rhythm of Rain hair mask. So I think this is something I have to do in the shower with wet hair. So I can't necessarily try it right now or give you an honest rating. This retails for $28, which is really expensive. So I decided to choose it because my hair needs care. I do want to smell it though. 
is it going to smell like rain? I don't know. It smells pretty refreshing. I wouldn't say it smells like rain, but that's okay. I am excited to try this one. It's always good to care for your hair. What is this? Ooh, a lip scrub. So next we have the lip scrub. I did not know we were getting this. This retails for $20. It's a vanilla bean lip scrub. I love lip scrubs. I love vanilla. What could go wrong? I do have a little bit of lip gloss on, but we're gonna try it anyways. This packaging looks familiar. I don't, I'm not familiar with the Wish brand, but I feel like maybe FabTipFun gave us something with this brand before. Ooh, it smells good. It definitely doesn't taste as good as the Lush Lip Scrubs, but it does feel pretty good. I do feel a difference already, so I'm really excited about this one. I am gonna give this uh, four out of five tallies. I definitely have to try it more to see if I fully like it and see if it makes a difference between this one and my normal Lush Lip Scrub, but I'm very excited to have this. They gave us a Kind Bar. I don't think this Kind Bar is part of the eight items that we're supposed to be getting. I think they're just being kind and they gave us a nice little dark chocolate nut and sea salt bar. I don't really feel like trying this right now, but it's very kind that they gave us a bar. Next is the Impressions Vanity Company Touch Highlight Mirror. This was one of the things you got to choose. And this retails for $45. I do not have a portable mirror, so I've been wanting one. I feel like this could be useful if I do decide to do beauty hauls. I don't know if I will, but if you guys would like to see those, let me know. Oh, wow. Who is that? That's me. I guess you could only see my camera and my ring light, but the mirror is very nice, very clean. I very much appreciate how they gave us batteries. That's very thoughtful. They did not have to do that, but they did. I wish I opened this before I like put on my eyeshadow terribly. Ooh, I like this. This is just gonna be life-changing for me. Um, obviously you could just see my camera again, but I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna give this one a five out of five tallies. It's gonna be so helpful to do my makeup on the go. I did not have a portable mirror, so I'm obsessed with this. This is one of the things I was most excited for. This is a Phase Zero Making Moves blusher. Is a blusher just a blush? I don't have a blush brush on me, but let's just try it with a regular blush. Oh wow, that's very pigmented. <laughs> this is not gonna look good because I obviously did not bring a blush brush here with me today, but I do enjoy how pigmented it is. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in more. Okay, I look a little crazy right now, but I do actually really like the blush. It's a little pink, but I like it. This blush retails for $27. I really like the pigment. Obviously, it didn't blend in perfectly, but I really enjoy it, so I'm gonna give it a five out of five tallies. I also would like to use this as an eyeshadow just because I love pink eyeshadow, so I think that'd be really fun. This is the last thing. These are the Guardian Angel Eye Gel Masks. So these are supposed to brighten, hydrate, and depuff your eyes. This was one of the things I chose as well because I didn't really know what I would do with the rest of the things. So this retails for $25. Okay, I like that it comes with multiple packs. It comes with four packs with eye gels, which is really cool. And they each come with two each for both your eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it, even though you're supposed to take off your makeup. I just wanna try one. I'll just put it on right now. These are, they almost look like whales, but they're supposed to look like wings. Um, it feels really refreshing. I don't know if I'm gonna notice a difference right away, so I might not be able to rate it. Okay, now I'm gonna take this off. It does make me a little shinier under my eyes. Like, I didn't put on the side, I only put on the side. I do see it brightening, but obviously I didn't leave it on for too long. And I didn't leave it on for them out. I told me to, but they look like they work pretty well. So I'm going to give these a four to five tallies. I'll definitely try these again and give them a better chance. But for now, it does feel really refreshing. I do like how it feels. It's perfect for a spa day at home. So I'll keep it at four to five tallies. Overall, I added up everything and it cost $285 for everything. I only paid $50 for this. So I think that it's pretty worth it. You do get these only four times a year, but you get them for each season. And although you do get to choose some things, some things are a surprise, but I think that makes it more fun. And I think I'm gonna use everything in this box, honestly. Like, even if there was some things I didn't fully like, I still like them enough to use them. I'm gonna give the box a four and a half tallies. I really like everything in this box. I'm excited to use everything. I'm most excited for this robe and the mirror. These are gonna be like my top used things. And these were the ones that cost the most money. So I definitely think that this box was worth it for me. 
And if you would like to subscribe to Fab for Fun, I'll put my link in the bio. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post all my Fab Fit Fun reviews as well as food reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!